Julia could use a little TLC. I use this doll pretty much on a daily basis, and all that use does create a little wear and tear. We need a hand replacement, and we could use a hairdo update. I made her when I was wearing faux locks that were pretty long. Now I've committed to growing my own, and I've let the grays come in. I am completely turning gray on top, so yeah, embrace the grays. But I love this mini Toya, and I believe that having multiple mini Toyas is a great idea. Thanks for the idea, Stovall the doll. So today we are going to make another mini Toya with an updated hairdo, giving us more options for different looks. To make my mini me, I'm using Barbie Fashionista number 123 and the made to move Barbie soccer player. The Barbie Fashionista comes with braids, but I want locks. So we're going to remove these. But first, we have to remove her head. What? Off with her head! There are a number of different ways to remove a doll's head. Keep in mind, head removal does come with a level of risk. You could possibly break and destroy your doll forever and ever. Back in the day, I used to just pull their heads right off, and that's probably one of the more risky methods. Someone suggested heating pads once. I've heard of hair dryers. I like to use hot water. You just need to decide on which method is best for you. I'm using an old Pyrex measuring cup and I fill the water to about a cup and a half. Then microwave like you're making a cup of tea. I get a nice strong baggie because you don't want it to melt in the water. Place both dolls head first into the bag. Our water is pretty heavy and it's very hot, so be careful. I place the dolls into the water and we're gonna just let them sit for probably about 30 seconds. Dolls with harder heads will require more time. Then take one out and test it. Eh, I think she could use a little bit more time. If your doll has eyelashes, be careful, this can damage them. All right, let's see now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Once the head is soft, I brace the neck with my hands and then carefully remove the head. Ugh. Probably should have kept it in a little bit longer. Ow. All right, it worked. Yeah, this one stayed in a little bit longer and it was way easier. Before we put her on the made to move body, let's go ahead and do her hair. Someone asked the question if removing their heads with hot water makes their heads bigger. Now I'm doing a little comparison here and they look pretty much the same to me. I don't know, what do you think? Let's cut off her hair. I'm using a crochet hook that is open. You can also use needle nose pliers and I'm just using it to scrape the inside of the head to remove the plugs. Tweezers work as well. Looking good, Mini Toya. Let's go ahead and make a mini me for my mom as well. I'm using the Ella Fitzgerald doll from the Inspiring Women series. Yeah. Let's take you to the balding room. To make our locks, I use sock yarn. I found this one at Michael's. It has lots of gray tones. I like sock yarn because it's kind of stretchy and you can also find it on Amazon in a variety of colors. Since this is a multicolor yarn, I have to go through and pick out just the pieces that I want. I want some that are gray at the top and then fade to black, even though this is more like a charcoal gray, but it'll do. I cut them into smaller pieces, then wrap them around paperboard to try to stay organized. If your yarn is all one color, this is not a problem for you. I'm using a little acrylic paint to paint the scalp to match because on my current mini Toya, you often see bald spots and that kind of drives me crazy. So we're gonna do this. Then let's mix in a little white. <laughs> because we're turning gray, y'all. And I'm just gonna plan where I wanna place these colors. Oh my goodness. Wow. I have been dyeing my hair for years and now that I'm letting the natural color or lack of color grow out, there's a lot of gray. For my mom's doll, 
We're just gonna make her nice and silver with a lighter color at the temples. Looking good, ladies. Looking good. Whoa, my head is like way bigger than my mom's. And I did way too much gray hair, so I went back and made the sides a little darker. I'm gonna make it black around the sides and then we'll have a little gray on top. Now we can start rerouting. I have a little mattress here so the doll has something soft to lay on. There we go. I'm using a needlepoint needle, size 18 or 22. Here's the yarn and we need something to thread it. I like using fishing line and a pair of pliers. I start by cutting a small piece of yarn, push the fishing line through the eye of the needle, put the yarn into the loop of the fishing line, then pull it. There we go. Push the needle through one of the holes and angle it towards the opening in the bottom of the head. Grab the needle with the pliers and then you're just gonna pull it. There we go. Remove the needle, tie a knot on the end of the yarn, then pull it from the other side until the knot is right there at the head. And now repeat about a billion more times. And I am rerouting according to the way her head is painted. So in the black area, I'll add black yarn. In the white area, I'm gonna add a white gray yarn. I go around the edges first. Here's my mom's doll so far. And she's looking good with that silver hair. Now this doll, the doll museum for my mom, has a lot more holes in her head than Minnie Toya because Minnie Toya had braids and this doll had rooted hair. So once we go around the outside, we're just going to sporadically do the inside because we don't want to make it too full. On Minnie Toya, I just finished doing the black hair all the way around the edges. Now I'm starting on the gray hair but I only want the roots to be white. So I'm looking on the yarn for where it transitions from white to a charcoal gray. And I'm gonna make sure that is what we're gonna see coming out of the top. I'm starting on the hairline just as before. Carefully place the knot a little past the white, then pull the other end and there we go. White roots. It took me the rest of the night to get this all rooted, but I think she's pretty much done in the hair department. Her locks are shorter than the previous mini Toya, but longer than real Toya. And I'm not quite this gray on top. I am exaggerating a little bit, but hey, give me a few years and I'll probably be here. Ooh, my nail polish is chipped today. But we're just gonna keep going because I'm trying to stay on schedule. With this reroute, I just wanted to correct some of the problems that I have with the original Mini Toya. Mainly when it comes to the parts, like where you can see her scalp. I did try to fill in pretty good. If we need more, we'll just add more later. And let's remove the white hair from the original Mini Toya and add a little bit more at the top so she is still usable. These come right out because I just pushed them in after she was attached to the body. But I want to switch out her body anyway. We have some wear happening. So let's remove her head and reroute the other way. And while we're at it, let's warm the hands in the water as well to remove them. <gasps> Kenny Doll 2017 was right! The peg for the hand is a lot thicker than a Monster High or an Ever After High. I actually really like the hands that belong to the Articulated Curvy Dolls, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for a hand donor. But I do have another Made to Move body standing by for the OG Mini Toya. Since these hands are broken, let's experiment a little more and see if we can cut to separate the fingers. I'm using an X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna slice right down the middle. Yeah, I totally destroyed that. The problem I'm having here is that the fingers end up having like corners, which are not my favorite. And if you slip at all, you're taking off part of that finger. Let's try one more time. Maybe I just gotta be a little more precise. Or I'm cutting, I'm thinking a smooth line too. Otherwise we end up with little tiny finger bits. So it can be done. You just need to be more skilled at the X-Acto knife than I am. Just because I couldn't leave things alone, 
I figured out that you can actually carve away at them nicely. And then that one looks like an actual finger-ish, sort of. So it's nice to know that's an option if you want to take the time to carve and separate little tiny fingers. I think I'm going to go with the WWE Superstar hands. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm removing her lipstick. I love the idea of red. I just know that I need something a little calmer. I dilute a little acrylic paint with a satin varnish, then try to paint on a little lip color. I did go with a little bit of color. I don't know. I can always fix it later. And it hasn't completely dried, so it's still a little shiny. I also went in and darkened her eyebrows just a little, and mom is looking pretty good as well. I'm still not loving Minnie Toya's lips, but I'll probably just play with them later until I get them the way that I want. Reattach the heads to the bodies. I picked out a nice little dress for mom to wear. Add a pearl necklace, a pair of black shoes, paint the handles gold on a black Barbie purse, to finish her look. All she needs now is a little old man standing next to her. This Barbie happy family grandpa looks just like my dad. No alterations needed. And those are my parents. My mom helps me with crafting. She cleans up all my patterns and helps me to stay organized. She doesn't really have locks, but I'm trying to convince her to make the change. And my dad, well, he's a pretty good photographer and helps me to collect backgrounds for printables sometimes. All right, so I changed her lipstick again and I went ahead and added the teeth. I'm not even sure if they're straight, but I've repainted these lips like 10 times now. So yeah, we're just gonna go with it. Let's dress Mini Toya in shorts and a t-shirt, then give her large silver hoop earrings, paint her nails, pink. Let's make a quick purse using embossed paper and black elastic. This paper has an animal print and I got my elastic cord from a pair of jeans. This is how they attach the price tag. We are going to make this purse similar to how we did in our designer handbags video. So we're going to cut a strip of paper. One and a half inches is more than enough. Fold over about a quarter of an inch on the sides. Cut about four inches, fold over another quarter inch on the edge, go to the other end, fold it over a few times, then fold the other end over the top, and it kind of looks like a little envelope. Open it up to get to that center crease, cut a piece of cord, glue the ends into the crease, fold over and glue down the top, I could also use tape, since most of it is made out of paper, to make a simple little bag. Give her a pair of hot pink shoes, and we pretty much have Mini Toya's everyday look. Now she just needs her Mini Hubby. I used the Integrity Toy Doll Tobias for Mini Hubby because we have a little bit of a height difference, and I love that this doll is bald. My husband does have a goatee, but he also shaves from time to time. So I just leave this doll as is. Then I take a photo. Then I use face app to add a goatee. Usually I go with the grand goatee and then I just kind of trim it up a little. Oops, too much. There we go. And that's what I call lazy customizing. Mini Hubby is a very important member of the My Froggy Stuff team. Without him, we would all pretty much starve because your girl can't cook. Plus, he's the editor, so we totally need him. He picks out all the music for the videos. Now we need our little Bella. She's already rooted with the yarn, but I am gonna trim it just a little. Going from this blunt cut to something a little more layered. And I dressed her in jean shorts and a t-shirt. You all know Bella. She's the voice of Chloe from The Derby Show and Callie on Summer and Callie. She is also a pretty good artist and has her own series on our channel called Frog Food. That's all about art. 
since we're putting together the whole family, we need the youngest member, Noah. I bought this doll a while back thanks to the Queen Dalai Lama on Instagram. This is a 1-6 scale collectible figure of Miles Morales. From Super MC Toys, we've got a teenage boy who looks a lot like Miles from the movie, but nothing like my son. But I have found it very difficult to find an articulated African-American teenage male, so we're just gonna go with it. Plus, it's the only one Noah said I could use. This doll was a little pricey in the hundreds range, but he has hair. It actually feels like a faux fur. He can move at the head. The head actually comes like right off pretty easily. He can move at the shoulder, bend at the elbow, twist and move at the wrist, move at the hip and bend at the knee and at the ankle. He comes wearing socks, joggers with pockets, a green jacket, a red hoodie, and a white t-shirt. He also has extra hands, so those will come in handy, a pretty detailed backpack, and a pair of Nikes that are actually made out of a faux leather. Whoa. Noah loves video games. He's even created his own map in Roblox called Miniverse 2 by the real Froggy Boy. In the Derby Show Roblox series, Sophie and Chloe explore the map, checking out the latest updates. And that's the Froggy Fam. We have a nice little mashup of different dolls here. Like for real, there's three different kinds. As much as I love Miles Morales, Noah's doll looks a little out of place to me. I could have gone with the Marvel Rising doll, we use him as the cameraman on Summer and Callie, and Noah does his voice. But he's kind of short, has blue hands, and the real Noah is now taller than me. But I guess we'll just hang on to Miles until we find a better fit. Oh, and we're missing the newest member to the Froggy family, Bowie. This is our little needle felted dog that we made when we first got Bowie. I said I was going to make another one, and I just haven't gotten around to it. And let's not forget about mom and dad. Now we have the whole froggy family. And OG Mini Toya has new hands, so we can still use her when we want to switch it up a little. It was a lot of fun making my family in miniature. If you don't have a mini me, creating one of your own could be a fun project for you. <gasps> I almost forgot! Mini Toya's nose ring! I am going to make this real simple and just use a pen. Sorry, Mini Toya, but I have to make a small hole where I want the nose ring to go. Then I trim down the needle, then push it into the hole for an instant nose ring. Thank you for joining us while we made the Froggy family with Mom, Dad, Bella, Mini Toya, Mini Hubby, Noah and Bowie. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Happy crafting! Bye! <laughs>